Rick and Lauren, it's amazing to see just how many people have been here throughout the day and causing trouble. In fact, law enforcement had been here throughout the afternoon and into the evening. And still, look, we've seen multiple people get ticketed today, and police say if it if it's worthy, they'll even arrest people. After weeks of illegal street takeovers and dangerous stunts and multiple wrecks, LAPD is now taking back the 6th Street Bridge Viaduct, ticketing offenders and cracking down on those causing chaos. It's sad that we have to pay for the police to be out here all the time and that mm -hmm. they have no respect for anything, right. you know, it's really sad. Especially upsetting for some families. A bad example for the younger society, you know, it's really, really bad, it's beautiful. It's a shame that they're trying to ruin the fun for, you know, us. And more stunts generated through social media this weekend, this time, with a flock of doves. To simply just gather together, hold the dove and release it and bless the bridge. Hoping to promote positivity, the messengers for peace instead causing backups on the bridge as dozens take over the street. In response to the chaos, yellow speed bumps have been added to the median. Daily graffiti teams have been out removing tagging, higher fencing installed to stop climbers, and an increase in patrols. And not just on the bridge, there's also been problems beneath, nearby businesses and the bridge itself. Some say it's just kids being kids. That's what kids are supposed to do. Oh, there they are. Yeah. On cue, right? Only many offenders are grown adults, and LAPD says enough's enough. Those engaging in illegal activity will be stopped. LAPD is not messing around. We've seen multiple law enforcement vehicles as well as motorcycles. They've been up and down the bridge, turning around and chasing down those offenders. So I've been told that even if uh, there's been an uptick in some of that activity tonight, they'll shut down the bridge and they'll continue to monitor the bridge every weekend. That's the very latest in downtown LA. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News.